Hey, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. Um, just on the back of the conversation we just had with the spokesman of the Irigbe uh, Development Association, we've invited Mr. Mohamed Abdullahi. He's the chairman of the Mieti Allah Cattle Breeders Association in Plateau State. Good morning, Mr. Abdullahi. Good morning, ma'am. I, I first want to hear your side of the story representing, you know, the Fulani Cattle Breeders Association in Plateau regarding the attack that occurred in Nyango in Plateau State on Saturday and Sunday. Now, the people in the community say that Fulani um, herdsmen allegedly attacked them twice, first earlier in the day and later at night, burning over 250 houses. Can you tell me what really are the facts, according to you? Let them tell you the, the gospel truth of what is happening in Nyango and its areas. Uh, on Wednesday, it was not on, on Saturday, but it started on, on Wednesday, where they attacked Rafim Pauna and killed nine cows and then a one herder, which on Friday, uh, mocks are not able to attend their, their, their Friday prayers because of the af afraid of attacks by Irigwe, where they were moving themselves in Kwa Chudu and, and, and Jebu, Jebu Mayango. Which on Saturday, they went to back to, to uh, uh, holding sophisticated firearms with their masquerade, four of their masquerades were there that they will fight and finish Rafim Bauna and Fulani that are residing in that general area. Which immediately they informed me, I informed the security agencies, which they were prompt and they went there and they halt any other further killings in the area. So we lost so many people and we, so many have been injured. Now we have in, uh, in different hospitals about 16 persons in, with different degree of injuries. And then, and then we have recorded five dead persons and some other missing up till now. We have not ever to see that. But they continue complaining that it, they have been attacked. They have been attacked. Who attacked them? Where and how? So, 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 what, what? Where is the reports of um, dozens killed and two hundred and fifty houses burnt? Are you saying that that report is false? Let them say the gospel truth. Let them get, discuss to you what exactly happened, because these Irigwe people they have compounded their own problem, where they may nobody will control their own problem, because nope. they went as far as. The uh, killing people in, in, in the same Basa local government, they went to just south and killed people, they went to Riom and killed people, went to Bari Kiladi, they went to just east, they went to just north, and so on and so forth. They crossed the plateau state, they went to Bauchi state and killed another people, killed their cows. Just recently, about a week ago, they, roast, they killed six herders in Kaduna state and roasted their. 362 well, cows, well, move uh, them into Mr. the, Mr. the Abdullahi. area and kill all the cows there. Oh, Mr. Abdullahi. So exactly what is happening in Baisa, in Mango, is somebody cannot say it exactly. Yeah. Mr. Abdullahi, can you hold on? They, they know what they have done and who are they are fighting with. All right. But it is not our own people because our people are there, come in their villages, and they are, they are looking what is happening there. All right. Well, um, we're, not, we're going to focus on Plateau State now and uh, uh, not uh, talk with regards to Kaduna. You just, you just mentioned Kaduna. The news reports say that, you know, dozens of people were killed in the last 48 hours in uh, that local government area. And also about 250 houses were burnt. So are you saying that that never happened? And instead, it is these Irigwe community uh, persons that are attacking Fulanese in different local government areas. Let them tell you what they did before they, they were being attacked, if, if really they have been attacked. Okay, well, so, so yeah. what, I want, what I want is confirmation that um, was there any attack on the Uruguay community and were dozens killed, were 250 houses burnt, like the news reports are saying? Well, I cannot, I cannot testify to that uh, exactly, because 
I am not there. I cannot see things by myself. I, it's only information I've been given. But I was told so, since on Saturday, security agencies were picked of police and the Operation Safe Haven are all there in the in the area and they are trying to halt any other for the killing. So if they tell me that the uh, houses was 250 we are burnt, people were killed, and I will be, I will be stopped. Let the security agencies tell us what they are doing there to, to halt the, the killings and destructions of properties, which oh, I oh. don't think it is true. It, they are just saying it to, 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 to just uh, uh, give their own, uh, call, uh, get their own sympathy from other communities and government and so on and so on and so forth. All right, so so, 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 so can you I confirm if there were can you confirm if there have been any reprisal attacks? Because from your your statement now, it seems like just the Uruguay community, uh, um, uh, uh, well, persons from the Uruguay community are attacking Fulanese. So would you confirm if there have been any you know counter attacks? Have the Fulanese you know had to fight back or you know attack these communities back in the last seventy two hours? All the leaders I am talking to in Basa local government, that is my community leaders, they are telling me there is nothing like that. It has not happened, and they are very calm in their villages, especially Marabantere, Duzenkura, Katumme, Rafimbauna, and so on and so forth. They are very calm. The day before yesterday, the commissioner of police called me around 11 o'clock in the night, I find out some of the leaders were even on their sleep, like the Arab of, of Mango was on his sleep. And he, and he told me, let him confirm, and later on he called me, he told me there's nothing going on in the area. So I am disturbed if they said somebody has attacked them with the heavy security presence. They are just by the backyard of the, the, the third armored division. And they are telling me they have been attacked and nothing has been done. It is baffling me. It is disturbing me. These people are not telling you the, the, the truth because they are not God-fearing people. They will just tell you something, an information that we, we give them sympathy. And okay. they will not get that sympathy they are looking for. So, Mr. Abdullahi, what do you know about the fight for ancestral land in Miango Plateau State? Because the spokesman of Irigua community uh, mentioned that that's what the bone of contention is, that Fulani herders, so to speak, um, want to take over their ancestral land, and that's why they're attacking them and trying to displace them from their community. Forget about this, that, 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 that what they are saying. Since 2005, they displaced all the Fulanis around their, within their mix leave behind their houses, their, their landed properties, all other household properties, and fly away. And they are up till today not in Mayango district and Kual district. No Fulani existed in these areas, though they have some properties where the Iroquois testify that, yes, they know about their own properties, but they are not there. Some of them fly to Kaduna State, some of them fly to Bauchi State, and so on and so forth. So, if they tell you that story, who are those Fulanis within their own area that are, are attacking them? Mr. Abdullahi, um, just for the bigger picture, do you see a likely end to these clashes that we're having between farmers, herders, especially those of Fulani extraction? And what let do you think you, that... Uh, uh, one, one more, question, Mr. Abdullahi. And also, what do you think that religious leaders, traditional rulers like yourself can do to douse the tension? Before I answer you, I want to ask a question. Please ask Irigwe people. All other communities surrounding Irigwe, about five or six communities, including the Aten people, the Afghanawe, the, the Kamarunchawe, the Rukuba, the Afizare, the Amo, and so on and so forth, that surround Kiriwe land, are today, up till today, in peace with everybody. There is no skirmishes in the area. Why is it continue repeating itself in Kiriwe Chibdom? Why? All other communities are in peace, but their own community is always in, on fire. What is happening? Let them ask, let us give you this question. Number two, 
How to stop these killings and destructions? Number one is justice must be done. If injustice is there, then we may not get the peace we are looking for. So we need fair play to everybody and treat everybody equal so that everybody will, will, will have the sense of belonging. Number two, we need a strong collaboration between government, security agencies, we the community leaders, traditional leaders, religion leaders, and other opinion leaders to come down and sit on table and talk the issues and provide solutions to the issues. If not, these killings will continue. Right. And then finally, on the security end, they should be free and fair to everybody. All right. Uh, Nuru Abdullahi, the chairman, Meetia Lakatu Breeders uh, Association in Plateau State. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you. And thanks for sharing Thank you uh, your perspective with us. Good morning. All right. And that's where we will be wrapping up this morning on The Breakfast. Uh, really, really tense uh, conversations here and there. But thanks for joining us. If you missed out on these things and you would like to catch up, remember to catch us up on our uh, social media platforms. It is at Plus TV Africa on Facebook and Instagram. Same with our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. And of course, at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Osao Gye Ogbawa. And I am Aneta Felix asking you to have a beautiful Tuesday.